Hi, I'm Matthew with Earthworks Garden Center. Today we're going to talk about organic solutions for caterpillar control. Caterpillars here in the Deep South are generally a problem uh, whenever it's warm outside. You can always tell that caterpillars can be a problem if you see the moths flying around your lamp at night around the front door. If you see that moths are present, caterpillars can certainly be present as well, both in the edible garden and the ornamental garden. Fortunately, we have organic solutions that can help keep these caterpillar pests under control. We use biological control in addition to hand picking to keep caterpillar numbers um, safely under control throughout most of the growing season. If hand picking alone isn't working or you don't have the time to get out there to pick the caterpillars off um, every day, you could use products like BT and Spinosad. BT is a product that we use um, that is a biological control, meaning that there's bacterium um, inside this solution that will take care of caterpillars generally within 12 to 24 hours. The other type of biological control that we use is Spinosad, and in the brand Captain Jack's, there is uh, a bacterium in there that will take care of caterpillars, again, within the 12 to 24 hour period. We have some aquatic plants um, that are getting eaten by caterpillars right now at the garden center, so today we're going to be spraying those and we'll show you some uh, different methods on uh, not only looking for them, but also spraying them. And we have some canna lilies that we found in the garden earlier this week that also need to be sprayed with the bacterium. We're going to be using both the BT product and the Spinosad. So an otherwise healthy plant can be decimated by caterpillars, sometimes seemingly overnight. I found another of the leaf rolling caterpillars right here. This canna lily, perfectly good health, but you can see that the leaves are getting torn up. Um, one, even two caterpillars can strip the leaves in a very short period of time. That's why it's important to be diligent and observe your plants in the garden. A weekly walk would be something that you could do that would certainly diminish the uh, disastrous outcomes you could have if you don't visit your garden very often. So the more you observe and interact with your garden, the more that you're going to catch these pests before they totally terrorize all of your plants. So you can see even though it's healthy and it's blooming, if these caterpillars continue to destroy the leaves, it's going to slow down the development of the plant and you might have to wait a longer period of time before it reblooms and gives you the color that you're expecting in your garden. So here we found a thalia plant, which is an aquatic, that has obviously a lot of caterpillar damage. You can see this little fold right here. The leaf rolling caterpillar likes to hide itself in the shade of the sun, but when you open it up, more than likely, oh there he is, there's going to be a nice fat caterpillar munching away at the greenery on your plants. Many times the caterpillars don't eat enough of the plant to where they destroy the entire plant, but they can certainly slow down the photosynthesis and the overall development and sometimes flowering of the plant. This caterpillar can either be hand-picked if you're comfortable with that, or you can use the biological controls that we mentioned earlier. Again, my name is Matthew Barlow. Keep checking in on our YouTube channel, Earthworks Jacks, to find more helpful tips in lawn and gardening solutions. Thanks a lot.